flash. Hey Park, how's your morning going? Good, I guess. Oh? Yeah. Anything exciting happening? I blew a hole in the deer. Really? So what's the story? Uh, okay. You can't really see it, but there's a hill over top of this hill. You can kind of see just a little bump up there. Uh-huh. Type of thing. And well, so we can see that bush over there, and that's yeah. kind of a good landmarker. So that's about where we were. And we came, we came over there. There, used, there was some deer way out there, but down on the Salt Lake. We were going to look at them. But then we seen this little 3x3 three three sticking his head up. So we're like, okay, what kind of deer is this? And he was just sticking his head up over top of this knoll here. And so he was there, and we were kind of looking at him. Figured he was too small. We were kind of going to back up and walk away or whatever. And then I seen this guy's antlers come up from like the bottom of the hill like that. I'm like, oh dad, there's a bigger one there. He's like, oh yeah, he's a fairly decent one. And so he, dad called and stuff, he grunted and then the little one came right out and walked off like 60 yards, but I didn't want to shoot him. So then we walked up, how far would you say we walked up? Like. 80 yards? Uh, well, it was. I was ranging it to about 150 here originally, and you said it was about 85 when you shot, so we must have walked up about 65 yards. Yeah, about 65 yards or so, then Dad <coughs> grunted again in this little knoll on the other side of this one, and nothing happened, so we came up on top of this one, and this guy was bedded down, then he stands up and, <laughs> and now there's a hole in him, and he's dead. So he pulled his rack up. Let's have a look. <laughs> so how many points? Uh, hey, count them uh, up. That one doesn't really count. Count them up. It's like a 4x4 four four, I guess. Yep. Is it? Yeah? Yep. Yeah. But he's got a broken one right there, so... So you just turn it. Oh, yeah. And you can see there's dried blood on his antlers, like, there's some there, there's some up here on this one. Yeah, he's got a really nice dark coat on him. Really black deer. Alright, I'll get a picture of that, uh, oh, it looks like his lip is cut up too, probably from fighting. Okay, good job, Park, on your first whitetail. That's uh, more than I would have ever dreamt that I could have shot on my first whitetail hunt. Well, not first whitetail hunt, but bagging my first whitetail. Mm -hmm. Yep. Thank you.